early in the day, I released this video on the Prusa XL and it documented the poor performance I was having with stringing, blobs and layer shifts. That video also went through in detail all of the different testing and tuning I had tried to try and fix these issues. To try and be constructive, I also put together a wish list of things I thought would fix the printer in the short term. Some commenters pointed out that all of my testing was done with the Alpha firmware and that's perhaps not a fair comparison because it could introduce its own issues. And I think that's a pretty fair point. So here's a quick follow up testing with the non-alpha version of the firmware and slicer. So as we can see up here, we're on version 2.6.1, which is not the alpha, and I reverted to all stock profiles. The only changes are three perimeters and 10% infill and the position of the wipe tower that changes for every model. On the printer side, the only changes are the filament color for each of the extruders. That means no input shaping, no alpha firmware and no custom G code, which I was trying to tune in my other video. I also returned the machine back to stock by removing these great filament scrubbers and collection bins by Surflex 2000. Slicing, we can see we add about 20 minutes to the print time, but apart from that, the preview looks pretty much the same. I've saved that file on the flash drive, adding old FW to the name, and you can see here I have the older stable firmware ready to downgrade to. To downgrade firmware, after resetting, we have to double tap on the click wheel, and this will force the firmware to flash to the older version, whereas normally it would just be ignored. In the printer info, we can now see that the version is the non-alpha 4.7.2 and we can now start the model sliced with the non-alpha Prusa slicer. Straight away, we can see that without the custom changes, we're back to the 2mm lift for every tool change. And as the print continues, unfortunately the result is quite familiar with all of the blobs and stringing that I experienced with the alpha firmware. I'm filming this in one shot as the print finishes up, just to make it crystal clear that this is the same old firmware print and as you can see, there's been no miraculous recoveries. Here's all the Marlins that I sliced with the Alpha firmware and this one with the non-Alpha stable firmware. And I'd say it fits right in and everything is quite consistent. It was the last one I printed with the Alpha firmware with even lower PLA temperatures and the brass scrubbers in place to wipe the nozzle. It's not perfect, but it is definitely heading in the right direction. And once again, just for comparison's sake, here's the same print printed on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini with the exact same filament. At this point, it's still setting the standard. So it was worth a shot, but unfortunately no, the alpha firmware and slicer is not to blame for the performance problems.